With the threat of a 2023 recession seemingly getting bigger each day, I ran a scan for stocks that are doing well over the last three months and only six stocks met my criteria. Three of the six are packaged food companies which I found interesting and are very telling of the times. And here's the great news. One stock has a great setup for making a 36% annualized ROI in the next week and I'll show you step by step what I'm going to do and I'll actually enter the trade after I make this video. The last couple of times I've done these types of videos, things have gone very well for the ROI so let's hope that trend continues. We're going to start the day off with a side-by-side -side fundamental analysis on our six stocks and then I'll walk you through the 36% ROI play from start to finish. It's really easy so be sure to stick around since this is an easy trade to copy for those that are interested. And if you want all of our trading alerts and help from our awesome community then join us in Discord. We're now at beastmodeanalysis.com for our side-by-side -side analysis and the stocks we're going to look at today are DXCM which is Dexcom. These guys are a medical device company and they've got some diabetes products. We've got Campbell Soup Company, ticker CPB which is a company everybody should know. ConAgra, another foods company, ticker CAG. Kraft Heinz, another really big name, KHC. Academy Sports Outdoors, ASO. And Signet Jewelers, ticker SIG. And all of these stocks have been consistently up over the last three months and they're up at least 9% and their charts look exceptionally well. If we come down and we look at the stock performance on the PE ratio, we can see our highest on the day is going to be DXCM at 250.4 and our lowest on the day are Academy Sports Outdoors and Signet Jewelers right at 7.1 and 7.2. Next up we've got the income statement and this tells us whether or not the companies are making money and if we are headed for a recession in tough times I love for companies to be profitable. They're the ones that are going to be best set up to weather the storm. And then the beast mode is also color coded. The second most important is light green and the most important to me is light blue. So if we look at the operating margin you can see that I generally want that to be over 10% and our winner on the day here is going to be Kraft Heinz coming in at 19.56 and all of these guys are just over 10%. Next up we've got our net income margin and the higher that number the better. Our winner on the day here is ASO at 9.91 and all of these guys are a little bit on the thin side if we were looking for high growth companies but these guys are steady money makers and there are ways that we can play them and I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. Next up we want to check the balance sheet and this tells us whether or not the companies are financially stable and here I like to look at what I call the tattle ratio because it tattles on the company's underlying strength of their assets and their liabilities and I always want that number to be above one. Our strongest on the day is Kraft Heinz coming in at 2.13 and if we look at their total assets it's 93.4 billion dollars. Their total liabilities are 43.9 billion dollars giving them a 2.13 and all of these guys are pretty strong none of them are even close to that one ratio so that's a real plus. Next we've got the key performance metrics and these are all very insightful to a company's overall condition and I've got all of them highlighted in light blue because I think they're all important. So if we look at the revenue growth last year our strongest on the day is going to be Signet Jewelers coming in at 49.72%. We do have a bit of a red flag here for Kraft Heinz at negative 0.54%. For free cash flow margin, our winner on the day is Kraft Heinz. They've got a lot of free cash flow, so that's a real big plus. Our rule of 40 indicator is going to be Signet Jewelers at 64.12. Our FNR indicator is also Signet Jewelers. And even though Signet Jewelers is coming in very strong, I have a little bit of a concern if we do go into a recession of people needing to buy jewelry. So this would not be a personal choice for me. But if we're looking at the actual numbers, Signet Jewelers is coming in exceptionally strong. And one more thing I want to look at under the key performance metrics is going to be the book value ratio. Anytime a company has a one to one ratio that means they're trading at par and it's very rare for a stock to be trading at the book value or uh, below the book value. And if we look at Kraft Heinz this one really jumps off the page because they're trading at their book value. So for value investors anytime you can buy a stock at the book value or below that's a real plus and this is something that Warren Buffett fans and enthusiasts love as well. So this jumps off the page something we definitely want to take notice of. 
The management effectiveness tells us how well management is generating returns for investors, and people love to look at the return on equity, and our winner here is gonna be Academy Sports Outdoors at 52.1%. And then I like to look at the 5R indicator, which sums up all five of the different return ons, and it's just a quick way to see how a company is doing. Our winner again is gonna be ASO at 163.3, and our low one is gonna be Dexcom, DXCM at 28.6%. And the other thing that jumps off on the page here is is for a dividend yield, I love for those yields to be 4% or higher because if it's over 4%, then I give it some serious consideration because you will pick up a little bit of a bonus on a stock and only one meets that criteria. That's going to be Kraft Heinz coming in at 4%. And the last section that we want to look at is going to be the growth metrics because companies should be consistently growing their business. So the net income growth over the last year, we can see we've got a lot of variations here. We've got some red flags here for DXCM. These are all negative, the first three, CPB and CAG. And then on the positive side, we've got Kraft Heinz. They grew at 184%, extremely well. Uh, ASO equally 117%, awesome. And then our winner on the day is Signet Jewelers. Man, a lot of people were buying jewelry. Don't know what that's all about, but those numbers are looking good. And then on a beta growth, uh, this is another fun one to look at. And with the beast mode, if you need to know what anything means, you just hover over it. And this tells us a beta is the net income or earnings with interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization added back. A beta growth gives investors a snapshot of short-term operational efficiency because a beta ignores the impacts of non-operating factors such as interest expenses, taxes, or intangible assets. The result is a metric that is more accurate reflection of a firm's operating process profitability and our hands down winner here is going to be Signet Jewelers again at 231.7. Now let me show you how I plan on making 37% annualized ROI and we're going to be doing that with Kraft Heinz. So on the top part of the screen here, I've got beastmodeanalysis.com up and you can use my option analyzer for free. Just click on this right here and this will pull up the screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our stock, KHC. Our first step is going to be to sell an out of the money put and we're gonna be looking for about a negative 0.3 delta. We put in our date sold, which is gonna be today. Our days out is going to be seven because we're going to be looking for uh, seven days out sell an option i love weekly options i've covered that a lot in other videos we're going to do one contract just to start so that would be 100 shares and the share price i already know what it's going to be it's going to be 39.5 and we can find all of that information out by coming down and right now i'm in think or swim i put in khc and now i've got the options chain and i want to look at the 16 december this shows eight days it'll change to seven a little bit later and and now what we do is come over to our put side and we're just going to scroll down and here we've got the negative 0.32 delta and we can see that we can sell it for 28 cents per share and then our probability is going to be 33 percent and all we do is come up here put in our 39.5 strike price our credit is going to be 0.28 and once we put this in this gives us a lot of information and it tells us that we're going to receive 28 dollars per contract and our annualized roi is going to work out to 37 percent and what we've just done is we have sold a cash secured put, which is step one of the wheel strategy. So now if we come over, we can see our total weekly income. If we sell one contract, it's gonna be $28. Our annualized ROI, will round that to 37%. Our estimated monthly income, if we can do this every week, is $121.33. Estimated annual income works out to $14.56. And our cash needed for all of our puts is $3,950. So this tells us exactly what we need. Now let's say you've got a little bit more money and you want to be more aggressive then instead of doing one contract you could do five contracts. You'll see all of the numbers change over here and now we could have $606 of monthly income. Our total cash needed is $19,750 and this is where I analyze my options and this is how you can make a lot of money by selling puts and selling covered calls and that's all part of the wheel strategy and we cover that in detail here. All of the steps are on this and you can track your entire wheel strategies right here at beastmodeanalysis.com, absolutely free. Hope you guys enjoy my site. I love the wheel strategy, and while Kraft Heinz is not a sexy stock that is going to skyrocket, it is a very low risk stock that is trading at its book value, and if we can turn that into a 36 or 37% annualized ROI with options, then it becomes a very sexy under the radar stock that can quietly make us money in a tough market. 
If you enjoyed today's video or got anything out of it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And if you want all of our trading alerts, then join us in Discord. Peace.